Kiwi buzzsaw Travis Banks. I'm representing New Zealand. My name is Mark Davis and I'm representing Australia in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. It's good man, like uh, when I left New Zealand, I, I came overseas to try and put New Zealand on the map because nobody's really seen anything on New Zealand since I could think of Bushwhackers. So it's good to be able to get a platform where I can showcase how good New Zealand really is. It's an incredible opportunity. I think uh, a lot of people in my country would love to be in my position and uh, I'm here to do them proud. So it's, it's definitely like it's a big weight on my shoulders, but I'm ready to take it on. I figure um, I need to prove that I am the best in the Southern Hemisphere. I came to the UK before him, so uh, it's pretty much, it's, and he trained under me as well, so he needs to understand that I am the best wrestler from the Southern Hemisphere. Just try and survive his, his offense. A lot of kicks, a lot of strikes gonna be coming at me. I'm just gonna try and use my strength to overcome that and hopefully put him away. Travis Banks is going to win the Pro Wrestling World Cup because he is the most intense wrestler in the world today. Um, I don't think there's anybody that wrestles the way I do. Um, I don't think there's anybody tougher than I am, so I'm pretty confident. I just got a hunger, I got a fire, like I need to win this. I want to represent my country really well and I want to put Australia on a global stage for us to be taken seriously in professional wrestling. I want people to know that people from Australia, I want people worldwide to know that we are serious competitors, we have great athletes in our country and we're here to, we can compete with the best of them. All right, let's take you straight to the tail of the tape for the first match in this rest of the world qualifiers. Comes. He is a member of the Press Need, one of the most feared groups in WCPW. Travis Banks. What a reason, Dave Bradshaw. Travis Banks uh, having a little bit of a conversation with some of our audience members here. 30 year old from Auckland in New Zealand. One of the favourites perhaps given the year he's had so far James to advance all the way and take one of those two remaining spots in the finals. Well Travis Banks of course a member of the Prestige but tonight Travis Banks is out for himself. He is out for his nationality of New Zealand. This one is going to be Prestige versus Power. Mark my words. Mark Davis, great young athlete from Australia. A battle of Australia and New Zealand here to kick us off. Oh, Travis Banks oh, straight away! Oh my goodness! Travis Banks not waiting for the opening bell and putting the boot in to Australia's Mark Davis. Well, I was just about to comment on the physical difference between these men. Travis Banks destroyed that argument right from the off, attacking Mark Davis. Got to love that attitude. This is all about winning Dave Bradshaw and advancing to the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. Well, there is obviously a physical difference between uh, Davis and Banks. Davis, the bigger physically, a taller as well, but Banks, so just vicious in his offense, completely relentless. We've seen this time and time again, and we are seeing it here. Well, this is what you must do. As Again, this is all about winning, and Travis Banks already feeling he has the edge in this contest. But it has to be one in the ring, Dave Bradshaw. There's the bell sounding. Here we go. Travis Banks didn't want to wait. Yeah, Davis is uh, starting the match proper on one knee thanks to that assault from, from Banks. He is not going to stop for a second here. Banks with those forearms after forearms into the side of the face. 
of Davis. Get up and drop down though. Davis, you're seeing some of that power off and sit out power bomb. Davis could win it quickly here. He's got two and it's two and a half. This man hasn't even got his ring jacket off and already he could have advanced to the next round of the qualifiers here for the rest of the world, representing Australia with pride. As always here, we're starting with eight competitors in this qualifying tournament. Four of them will go through to the second round. Our two second round winners will take the 15th and 16th spots, the final two spots in the uh, Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. If you want to give us your opinion, let us know who you think is going to take those spots. As always, join the conversation online using the hashtag Pro Wrestling World Cup. And all these wrestling fans worldwide, how fitting that the rest of the world will be tweeting about what's happening here tonight in Newcastle. And look at this. Davis, so powerful if you give him a chance to get going here. We've seen him a, a couple of times competing in that. In WCPW, he's been very successful, very dominant in his native Australia, as Banks was in New Zealand. Well, Mark Davis already going up against prestige members such as BT Gunn and Joe Coffey, but, you know, here against Travis Banks, it's a different kettle of fish, so to speak. It's the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Yeah, so much at stake here. And of course, unlike the other countries that had their own qualifiers, the rest of the world here, eight different countries represented. So for all of these men tonight, this is a chance to be the lone representative from your country. And that is so, so special. It's special. Oh, wow. speaking of special. Ooh. Well, Banks isn't going to be feeling too special tomorrow morning after that. There's a lateral press and didn't hook the leg, gets two. It takes a lot to put down an athlete like Travis Banks. Never discount this man. There's a reason he's a member of the Prestige. There's also a reason why he's in the Pro Wrestling World Cup to begin with. David tried to pick up Banks. Banks ends up on his feet, rolls behind, goes for a roll through. Instead, he kicks him right in the chin. The big equaliser, taking the big man down to his size. Running up a cut from Banks. He's going for a second one, he'll nail it. Banks going to take a... The full diagonal length of the ring for this third one, but he's caught and dropped down. Very of like an Uranagi slam there from Davis. Is it enough? No. That was close, though. As close as, we, as we've come already in this match to a winner. The pace that both Davis and Banks are setting here early in the rest of the world qualifiers is quite frightening. Davis has Banks lined up here. A trip from Banks. Davis went. Head first, very, very awkwardly into that middle turnbuckle. Banks gonna charge, and Banks with a drop kick right into the chin, into the jaw. He's going for a second time. Oh, he's not, it's a cannonball this time. Yeah. Banks has come out, all guns blazing here. The cover, and another two count. Just think Dave Bradshaw. For both these men, Banks and Davis, this is only one of a potential two matches this evening. And they're going hell for leather already. Banks has uh, already got that look in his eye. Slightly manic. Go for that slice of heaven, but it gets caught. Davis has him up and turns it up. That from a high, high angle cover from Davis. Another two count. Both of these men try and pinfall after pinfall. Trying to, although the pace is fast, James, you're right about that. They are, though, trying to finish it early and conserve as much energy as they can here. Wow. wow. What a huge forearm that was. Now Davis with the legs of his uh, Kiwi opponent. Oh God, what is this? Oh, power driver! Oh my! Forget about it. That has to be it. Mark Davis with an enormous power driver. It's not enough. Travis Banks, incredible resilience to kick out of that one. Mark Davis not convinced it wasn't three. Referee Sean McLaughlin telling him, yes, it was only two. Banks has had an incredible year. He's already competed for WWE this year at the Fan Access right before WrestleMania. Also won the Super Strong Style 16 tournament over in Progress Wrestling, but he's having a lot of trouble here against Mark Davis. I was thinking coming into this, you know, that Travis Banks could be one of those guys he wouldn't bet against going a very, very long way in this tournament, but Davis is surprising him here. Oh! How much more of this can Banks take? Three those hits to the jaw. And that pile driver a minute ago. How much more of this can Davis take? Caught. Uh oh. Banks gets caught again. That's the second time that's happened. Oh! Reversal oh. though. 
the Canadian Destroyer. Banks will go for the slice of heaven and he gets it. He connected that time. The cover from Travis Banks and that was not enough. Uh oh, not wasting any time. Oh, the Lion Clutch, the Lion Clutch from Banks. Banks into the Lion Clutch. Oh, and a tap out, a tap out, a tap out from Davis, a tap out from Davis. Banks Ladies advances. And gentlemen, here is your winner as a result of submission and advancing to the second round qualifiers later tonight, Travis Banks. Talk about coming fast out of the gate, both Travis Banks and Mark Davis did exactly that, but Travis Banks in a relatively short period of time has advanced to the second round. It may have been a relatively short period of time, Dave Bradshaw, but the amount of punishment that Banks took in that match, it was almost like two matches in one. But don't forget, Banks is up here later on tonight. He has to wrestle again. Well, Banks, very pleased to advance, of course, to the second round. Travis Banks advancing at the expense of Mark Davis.